turning dreams into reality. In the lab with the formula and chemistry. The memories spark the motivate and make the industry shake. We broke the bars in the place. I'm talking one, one chance at best, yes. Painting pictures for the culture, keep the brushes fresh. Took the cover, broke the drum, a passion never rest. Freedom is our teacher, I'm the pressure, now we bless. See, I was so close, but the go is what art one shot, now the future is yours. Go! Yeah, it's one on one shot, now the future is yours, go!
Hi guys, welcome. Sorry for that really odd shot of me as I'm messing with the hardware. Everything is a little different here. Um, the studio has been revamped. Revamped. Got the new facelift. So I do want to apologize for the length of time that we were on the intro screen. Um, but yeah, welcome to another episode of Recipes for Disaster. This is the first night of the new campaign. So. Well, to start off, let's say thank you to en Enduring Films for allowing us to use the wonderful space that we're in. Thanks, Chuck. Epic Worlds and Games. Hey, Jimmy. And for, for Eyes for Eyes I just spoke We to, want booze. I just spoke <laughs> to him. I asked him to send uh, more than three this time. Yes. That way, um, if I become more of a fixture here, then uh, we're going to need more beer for to pass around. And apparently we have really loud static on the mic. Is, is more than three? That mm. could be, be the four. air conditioner <laughs> slash fan. Yes. The, can, George, can you kill that fan? Maybe just lower it? No. no. I, think no. I think we'd be killed if we... It's don't. very <laughs> loud static on the mic. Okay. Let's kill the fan and see if that solves the problem. If not, then we'll have to... Well, it's it apparently it's better now. Flow. And no, it's fine. So I have no idea what the static is from. Well, we'll All leave of that off if it gets too warm. I'm sorry. You mean, <laughs> you mean when it gets too warm? If? No. If so the AC is working. Um, ah, shit. I forgot my jacket. Wait, there's AC? Yeah, it's yeah. right there. Yeah. yeah. It's a big hole in the wall. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I thought it was a hole in your head. So, yeah. So, four eyes ales. Yeah, four eyes ales. Uh, if they're on Instagram, at the number four, E-Y-E-S-A-L-E-S, -E 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 um, no spaces or anything. Uh, really good beer. They're primarily in the Bay Area. For uh, eye sales. I'm sorry? For eye sales. For eye sales. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, if you're in the Bay Area of California, check them out. Uh, check out the Instagram. They'll, they'll always post when they're going to be, um, uh, you know, at, at a different festival or, or anything. On occasion, I'll be wear, I'll wear the shirt uh, just in case you want to see what the logo looks like. But I highly suggest checking out their website or their Instagram. John, is your mic plugged all the way in? Last time I checked, yes. But it's looped around my shoe. One second. <laughs> yeah. Is it only when I'm talking? That's it gone again. Be. What? It says it's gone again. So. But also it's back. Oh. So we don't know. It comes and goes. Okay, like I'm unplugging my mic, so just thought I'd warn people. Dude, I heard that. Yeah, I heard it too. Yeah. How about now? Is that better? Do we have another? Uh, no. Oh, uh, wire. XLR. Yes. XLR. Yeah. Uh, let's see how this one does first, and then we'll we'll go from there. Okay. Well, no complaints so far. Woohoo! Okay, sorry about that. <coughs> Gotta love technology. Um, so just to start with, uh, we are starting things fresh, new, with a new run of characters ish. Well, John, I've got good news for you. It's not your mic. It was there after you unplugged. Yay? So it's one of your guys. Trevor, it's probably your mic. It's, it's probably my mic since you Trevor's had me use this one. Well, you know. No, it's just Trevor's mic. In general. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Starting with a new run of characters, Ish. Um, ish? Ish. 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 So, as you may have remembered from the last time, the world was rebooted. So, some characters you may run into might be familiar to the players, but are not going to be familiar to the characters. Um, so, keep that in mind. But before we get going, let's do our announcements. Start with Rafa. Yeah, so... Hey, Rafa, I, welcome. Hey, thank you. Uh, I had, was on a cruise. Uh, so, last week we had, uh, on Fortune Favors Aboard... Uh, we had Trevor, who is currently doing something. Uh, he and Moody played Rock Band on uh, on the stream of, uh, for a while. Uh, lots of fun to watch, and actually lived up to the whole Twitch name, you know, namesake. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. Check it out. I'm not going to be there this uh, this Thursday again. Uh, I have uh, work. I can get it off. Uh, so I uh, don't know what exactly the plan is. Uh, if uh, I don't know. Somebody said, was it you that was, might be in Reno? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll figure out what we're going to do. 
Um, I might We're pop in really We're Trevor late. alive. Yeah, right on stream. Amazing. I'll bring the Two thumbs way, way, way up. You know what? If it's just you two again, you guys will probably play Borderlands. So, yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> okay, and as you guys can tell, Rafa is here. Um, his, Speaking of Borderlands. His character will be... Wrong stream. Um, <laughs> wrong stream. Uh, his character uh, will hopefully be entertaining and will be off and on available as Rafa's available. So... Anyone else have any announcements? Uh, let's jump to Ryan. Well, as Rafa said, I will be gone for the until Friday probably because I am going to be going to Reno, possibly gambling, possibly drinking, definitely having a good time. Yeah, if you don't yes, tune we'll in to Fortune Favors the Board, I will skin you. But I will possibly be having a good time. Doesn't matter. No, no, no. Reno. If he's going to be having a good time, he's probably not going to be watching the stream. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, I thought it was, if he's going to be having a good time, he's definitely, definitely watching the watching stream. Definitely watching. Yeah, I no, thought they were no, mutually exclusive. That's, that's what I was implying. What Rafa said was what I was implying just now. <laughs> if, if you're having a good time, that means you're watching the stream because anything else would not be fun. True. No, that means I'm just bored out of my skull. Right. Because you don't watch Fortune Favors the Board. If I'm getting ready to sleep, then it'll be a good way to help me sleep. <laughs> Speaking of Borderlands. That's why we have two viewers. <laughs> okay, so, so let's, uh, let's jump over to Quasi. Do you have any new announcements, Quasi? Um, no. You got a fight like, with a lawnmower? Well, hey, uh, I'm rocking my summer haircut. Mm -hmm. like, uh, although it's already growing out a little bit, so gotta we'll see how. Chop it back. We'll see how much uh, it grows uh, by like the end of summer. Uh, I'm thinking a nice bowl cut shape. Like the yeah, you no, know, like after we, you, we could we could turn your 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 haircut into like the the, the chia, the chia inspired one. I was making a prediction on how far Ch -ch 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 out yours would be grown. Anyway. Hair <laughs> wow. Hair Christine, <laughs> any announcements? Do I have an announcement? So everyone, no, that this is Christine. <laughs> she's a, she's an author, um, a fellow author. So I wanted to say congratulations on your second book. Thank you. And can you tell us a little bit? All right. Uh, the first book, Animal Empath. It's about a girl who runs away from home to save her mother from her father. The struggle continues and kind of starts to go countrywide in the second book, Spell Creator. The series is Children of the Revolution. It's a young adult fantasy novel or series, and <coughs> I kind of enjoy writing them. And on that note, we are going to be in Visalia. Where are we going to be next weekend? Or Talari? Yeah, is Talari. Talari. Yeah, so one of those places. But we're going to be in Talari uh, next Sunday. <coughs> so Talare. That place, yeah. right there. Okay. I only see it in You're writing. Forcing me to pull it out. Hold on. Let's pronounce Talare. Yes. It's, I'm Talare. not from California, so this sorry about the uh, the mispronunciation. Yeah, just oh, like no, Moscow. So it's, it's one of those Indian pronunciations. This is a good use of time. Finding the pronunciation of a word. Hey, it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be at the uh, TDES Portuguese Hall in Tulare, California. So we'll be there next Sunday before stream. So if you're in the area, definitely come on out. Um, Christine and I will both be there. And George may be there as well. Who knows? I don't know if Trevor's going to have time off, so he might show up at the con. Uh, but it is another Ohana con. So, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. Hey, I'm free labor. Speaking of, any announcements, George? Um, I've had a great weekend with an empty house, babysitting, a dog. <coughs> rat. <coughs> yeah, rat. You're right. Rat. And yep. binge watching Smallville. There you go. Trevor, any announcements? Sleep is for the week. Let's go. Right. So wow. now let's, let's take five seconds to just relax a little bit. And to just drag. <sighs> I'm joking. So, <laughs> breathe in. With, breathe out. With no further announcements, we are Put going to go ahead down, and get started on uh, tonight's <laughs> episode of Recipe for Disaster. We're going to start with Rafa. You're fired. So, 
Um, actually, before we get started on that, let <laughs> <laughs> me give a little bit of backstory of the. Work. Hey, Probably I think we've got bits spent. <coughs> on what? Oh, I don't know. We have ten bits for Rafa. Woo! From Woo Rafa. Woo Yay! <laughs> <laughs> From Rafa for Rafa. Really. <laughs> By Rafa about Rafa. Thanks, guy. Talk about Rafa. <laughs> that must yes. be one awesome guy. What a okay. dick. <laughs> so, so let me give you a, officially a little bit of backstory about the world. It's 2019 Earth. Um, we were asked to do a urban fantasy, so that's what we're going to do. How long it stays urban fantasy really is is up to the players. Uh, <laughs> but, but we are going to start off as an urban fantasy campaign, heroic in nature ish. It's 2019 Earth. Everything that you know about Earth is valid. Everything. Um, Every with a couple thing. minor exceptions. Trump is not, so not everything. everything. The Earth, no, no. The everything you know about of the cheese? Earth is true. Mm -hmm. Does that but include to the moon? There's a couple minor, not, a, not so, exceptions, so not addendums. There's a couple minor addendums. So Trump is not president. Um, no, no, he is. Trump is still our commander in chief. So. That being said, um, <laughs> the, the, the couple minor differences was in World War II, there was a superhero group known as the Renegades. Um, the Renegades fought against the Axis and helped the Allies in securing the freedom that we know today and beat Germany as, and their allies. All right, I'm supposed to take notes. Um, there was four people in that superhero group. Um, the four people um, Sorry there were four survivors Of the superhero group <laughs> At one point there was Wait, like at, the at one point there was ten people in the, in the group um, But four lived After World War II The others passed on um, The four that survived is Amari Mage, Stiletto And Lone Wolf I see why he worked well in groups Yes, yes, because he's a lone wolf. Um, those four faded into obscurity until about um, 1980, when the Knights were founded. And those four came back together with the assistance of Hellcat and Thrill to form the Knights. Uh, the Knights are a superhero group on the same power level of the Justice League or the Avengers. Known throughout the world, um, in 2000, there was a lot of backlash, corporate backlash, uh, because they were being funded by Kaiza Corporation, K-A-J-S-A. And uh, a lot of companies, Microsoft and other big name companies, including Blackfire, said that Kaiza basically had their own corporate bodyguards and hitmen, and so of course they're doing amazing in the stock market. That was the impetus that made the Knights seek United Nations coverage and they became the police of the world. Now, that being said, they don't interfere with politics at all. They only were sent out on issues that were too big for standard troops to handle. Um, that lasted for a good solid eight years when they dropped off the face of the planet. No one, no one had seen them since 2008. There have been a few movies that were launched showing their whole backstory, three to be exact, and the third movie is uh, a guess about what may have happened. Some, some calamity out in space that, that required their, their attention, and uh, that's what Hollywood thinks, at least. What are the names of the movies? <laughs> the Renegades Come of on, funk. John, you didn't think of this? <laughs> <laughs> the Renegades of Funk and so the, first uh, movie, the Knights Are Back in Town. The first movie <laughs> is oh, called the Renegades. Renegades of Funk's Electric uh -huh. Boogaloo. <laughs> which was the, the backstory of the Twelve. It was a very touching story of these heroes and most of them that died. Um, and how those four dealt with it and why they disbanded. Um, seeing no need for costumed superheroes when the world was rebuilding. So the second the movie, to the, Incredibles. The, the second <laughs> movie was called the uh, Knights of Vengeance. When they reformed to uh, start counteracting a worldwide terrorism that seemed to be spreading, um, now a lot of people understand terrorism is a big thing and it's been going on, you know, for centuries. But there was a big group known as Belial. 
and another group known as Arctic Frost. That were Arctic Frost was an eco terrorist group, and Belial is uh, more on the ends of pure evil. They were just randomly taking credit for destruction of buildings, buses, trains, ships, anything really that blew up, they took credit for it or was completely destroyed. Um, the Knights found, formed together to help stop I want to name the third movie. Okay. And uh, the third movie... Nightfall. I was going to say Final Game. Oh. <laughs> While I would love to use Nightfall... I, I don't want lost With a K. by DC Comics. You know, oh, that was the whole Batman versus Bane, Bane breaking Batman's back. That was called Nightfall. Nightfall. <laughs> so, um, so we can't use it. But thank you, thank you for the attempt. What, um, a, <clears throat> what about Final Game? No, the the last movie was uh, Knights Forever with a question mark at the end of it, um, where they. Took off and vanished, and uh, Hollywood sort of left it hanging with the, with them going into space. Did they leave a post-credit scene? No. Oh. It was directed by Schumacher, so yeah. That was, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> you know, the 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 big one, the big directors were like, eh, maybe not. Now, was this filmed as like a docu series, or were they actually like full fledged <laughs> Hollywood blockbusters? Both. It was filmed <laughs> as a with a docu series <laughs> sort of take on it. But Hollywood dumped a ton of money in, especially on the merchandising. Of course. So you too can have your own Knights action figure. Um, it was it was huge. Um, there was Small. there was a lot of controversy about it because it's it was based on a true story, like some of the Hollywood true story movies. But there was obvious uh, connotation liberties taken on some of the. More well-known things that happened, like in the Renegades one, they actually showed Stiletto duking it out with Hitler, um, which didn't <laughs> really happen historically speaking. No, it was just stolen. <laughs> but it was, you know, it was uh, the the Knights in during or the Renegades during the war really focused more on saving troops instead of interacting with other troops. So it was more getting people out of you know. Uh, Kill boxes and stuff like that, which is why most of them didn't live. John, <laughs> and so that's the nice. That le that leads us up to 2016 is when the final movie launched. Um, no one knows what happened to them. Uh, there is talk about a other United Nations organization um, that was founded shortly after they left in 2008. It's all rumor and speculation. No one really knows if the UN has another team geared up and ready to fill the Knights' shoes. Um, no one's seen another team since 2008. So if they are, they're a lot better at being stealthy than the Knights were. The Knights had six different locations around the world, um, and they were really big buildings in really big locations. Was their name by chance the League of Substitute Superheroes? No. <laughs> Again, nobody knows you if never there was another out to the UN. <laughs> nobody knows if there was another team because it has not been made public knowledge. If I miss it's in action. <laughs> <laughs> the only other real superhero y team that anyone's ever heard about, they also popped up in about two thousand eight, shortly after the Knights went missing, was um, the Mistresses of Mayhem. The Mons. But they are not no. While they are a, a vigilante organization, most people don't believe that they're real. Um, it's more word of mouth, urban f legend about a group of women that are punishing rapists and, and people that attack women. Um, occasionally people are, you know, some criminals have been received a street side vasectomy and left at police stations, <laughs> but there's no proof that it was this organization or just somebody Living up to the fantasy or now, when you say a street it. side vasectomy, do you really want details? We'll leave that up to the I just want to know if it's an out. actual vasectomy or if they're just it's a rumor. These people, uh, uh, again, again, cut off. Again, rumor. rumors. Um, so we're just going to leave it there and let people's own imagination fill it in. So that is uh, that, those are the main differences. Um, 
the the owner of okay. Kaiser Corporation. He is one of the top ten richest men in the world. His name is Brian Kaiser. Since the knights vanished, he has become a super recluse, to the level almost to the level of Howard Hughes. Um, he still runs his company. He still shows up for things that he has to do for the company. He's just doing none of the other public appearances that most people that run companies do. Um, so they don't televise, for example, the big <coughs> yearly... What was his name again? Brian Kaiser, K-A-J-S-A. -A. Um, they don't televise or, or uh, disseminate any of the company meetings. It's all private. Um, private to the point that people aren't even allowed to bring cell phones into them. No press. And Brian Kaiser being a um, big tech mogul, it's kind of odd that his own people aren't allowed to have cell phones at their corporate meetings. Okay, and so that is pretty much the world that we're going to start out in. Any questions from you guys before we get started? Go ahead, Trevor, and ask. Is any of that going to be on the test? Yeah, all of it. Dude, dude it is dude. a test. I just gave you the answers. You could have been writing them. Huh. It's okay. <coughs> He'll copy off one of us there. Cheat. Yeah, yeah, no. Dibs on copying off of Christine. No. Nope. No. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> I have an anti-cheating spell. So, cool. so this is why I gave everyone notebooks. Damn it, it's By gone. the way, they all have notebooks. <laughs> Yay! And we also Ooh, have a personal note in front. And eventually, eventually they will even have up. nice little logos on the front of the notebook. So it's just I wrote twice as much as Rafa. <laughs> Ooh, two times nothing is still better. Okay. <laughs> so I wrote mo more than both of them put together. Good job. Okay, so with that backstory, any other questions from anybody? Any questions in chat? Can't see it. No. So what, what was the other name of the evil group? There was Belial and what was it? There was Belial and Ar there Arctic Frost. was Arctic Frost. Arctic Frost. And Arctic Frost is a uh, eco terrorism group. Um, Belial is evil. Belial is Tordrick. Belial is just basically pure, unadulterated destruction of everything. I wouldn't say evil, I'd say more destructive. By the way, Tordrick didn't seem that bad. Yeah, that? apparently neither did Velaco, and he just. Um, wanted to in the Knights people. movie, Belial was like their big bad guy that they were fighting always. Okay. Hydra. Yeah, yeah. Except more evil and less sneaky. Thanos. Yeah, but no, not alien. Belial is a Earth-made. Look, John, you can't have everything. <laughs> They We're making around? comparisons. As far as people know, yes. Um, so the the uh, bombing of the uh, of Cathedral de Notre Dame, Belial took credit for the fire, even though the investigation showed it was an accident. Belial, like, instantly, we did that. So, oh. you know. so anything so you know, bad that happens, well, they take like credit for Middle it. Eastern terrorist group. They're like, hey, we did that. Yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah, that was us. Okay. So, gotcha. Cool. And the video where they took credit for it was out on YouTube for like all of two seconds before the government pulled it down. And uh, it was a guy in a skull, not a skull mask, like he literally had a skull that he put over his head and was talking through it, which right. is typical of a Belial video. Interesting. So you're it's telling me really they take small credit head. for other people's work? Or uh, I'm just saying skull? that they take credit for anything <laughs> that gets destroyed. They're just attention whores. So you're saying he's a real bonehead. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that is that. Any other questions before we get started? Can we get started? That one. Yeah, yes. yeah. Any <laughs> other questions before we get started? No. I second George. Okay. So I already seconded it. But I seconded it. Motion to abstain. <laughs> Tough shit, let's go. Absolved. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rafa. Yes. Your character. Bill Sender. Yes. When last we saw Bill, he had just put down a heroin. Mm -hmm. What has he been doing since then? Uh, well, <clears throat> after uh, going through a really bad trip, he he kind of wanted to get clean. He he didn't want to go through that again. Uh, so <clears throat> he he cleaned up. He uh, got enough. Uh, he found a he found a really nice job uh, working as an accountant. 
and uh, he's been uh, he's been having some really bad dreams recently, and it's been kind of affecting his daily life. Okay, so we're gonna start off with having um, him seek some help then. All right. So through his job, yeah, you know, they've got the these are the list of preferred providers. Mm -hmm. um, the one that you randomly chose was Janine Descartes. Okay. Um, she has come highly recommended by your company. Mm -hmm. And you've got an appointment. Mm. Please spell that? <laughs> appointment. Janine or Descartes? Oh. Appointment. I'm just going to write it down how I think it's spelled. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that works. Okay. I mean, I can spell it for you if you want. Sure. Yeah, for you. Okay. Because um, I wrote down it Descartes. G it's D-E-S-C-A-R-T-E-S. -E -E Descartes. Yes. Oh, yeah, because you don't want to put Descartes before the horse. Oh. Engineer oh. is J-E-A-N-I-N-E. Trevor, you need some sleep. Your puns are getting worse. Yeah, I know. It's getting bad. It's getting They're bad. aging like fine wine. The They're aging vinegar. like milk. <laughs> no, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, I've been having the dreams again. Uh, uh, please. Uh, I mean, she looks at you. Her blue eyes are... I mean, they, they, they start normal, like... I'm on a flying horse or something, uh, but then things get really dark, and then I see like uh, a bunch of things, creatures, uh, robots, dragons, and then a giant flash. And when I wake up, I feel like I was there. It was it was very vivid, and and I I I, I know these were just things, just this these these visions that I saw when I was like high, and I know they were a bad trip, but. I just, I can't help but to feel everything that happened, and I can't focus at work, and I, I, ha I feel like it, it's, it's causing trouble trying to build relationships with, like, friends, or, 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 or even, I, my family doesn't even want to talk to me. I don't even know where my family is. When was the last time you went out, just enjoyed yourself, without using any substance? I mean, does alcohol count? <laughs> Because I, 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 it's been uh, years. Yes, it does, but there's, <laughs> at least it's legal, but still, you don't want to trade one crutch for another. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like, I feel like if I go out, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna freak out again. Uh, so I, I try not to go out that much. Is there any particular thing that seems to trigger these dreams? Any activities that you've done? No. I getting laid. No. I I wish I could tell you. <laughs> okay. So one of the things I think you should do is keep a dream journal. Okay. Um, that way, you sort of not just about what the dreams are, but what you were doing the day before. So keep a regular diary, and then see if you can tie any of the weird dreams and triggering them um, to the activities you did that day. Mm -hmm. And I recommend you go out and... Uh, Experience life. Take in the carnival. Maybe even go to a faith seminar. There's a there's a new one in town today. Okay. <laughs> the uh, there's a there's a faith healer. There's also <laughs> the the carnivals. I mean, they're both really great options. Well, I mean, I did have the rest of the day off, so I guess I could go out and just enjoy and of course, myself. And if you have any problems, you know, give well, me a call. Well, I've been I've been doing what you told me. I've been breathing. I've been counting down, and it's been really helping me center me. Okay. So. Make sure that when you're doing it, you do the taps. Okay. That's going to help you. Um, just each side with each number. Okay. All right. We'll get through this. Thank you. Well, I think uh, I have the rest of the day off. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start at the. I'm going to have a little fun. Let's, uh, let's go play some skee ball. Sounds great. That's a screwball. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor. So your character, yeah. Does he have a name? Tell us a little bit. Tell the the group 
Meaning sure the, thing. Meaning the uh, viewers and not necessarily the rest of the players. Of course. A little bit about your character. Of course. So, uh, my name is Jack. You Jack uh, Walker. Um, no, Johnny? Nope. It's Jack. Uh, just Jack Walker. In relation to Johnny Walker? None at all. Excellent. Complete coincidental. Uh, I uh, came over to America probably about uh, oh, 15 years ago or so. Um, born <coughs> and raised in uh, Ireland. Uh, and uh, once I got here, uh, in the land of opportunity, I took the best opportunity I could think of, which was uh, running off to uh, a carnival sort of type place. And I've been bouncing around Maybe those ever since. Mm. Moving from place to place. I'm always within a mile of home, so it doesn't matter. So that's how you got started with the uh, state fair circuit then. Uh, I've always been wondering that. Yeah, well, you do what you have to. So I was told that you're uh, you're part of the security force for this this fair. Oh, that's a bit of a strong word, I think. <laughs> Judging from your build and uh, lack of vision, I'd say it is a strong word. Um. If anything, I'm more like a uh, a sideshow fighter. But uh, if people need handling, I'm the one to do it. That's good to know. So we're going to have a, a friend of mine just shadowing you around for the first few days. Right. Can of you? The fair. I'm sorry. It's been a long week or so without sleep. Can you remind me who you are? <laughs> I'm not so good with faces. Gee, really? Yeah, so I, my name is uh, Steve Marshall. I'm the guy that, that uh, is in charge of the area that the Georgia State Fair is at. Now, you being part of the state fair circuits, you understand that each state, even though they take the credit for the fairs, it's one big troop that goes around between most of the states. Well, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. So, they hired me to make sure that all of the people were able to do the job that they are here for. And, and while I understand that it's going to be fun to watch you fight this evening, and I've got my tickets, I think we're going to need to have, have Mike follow you around also. Has he signed a waiver? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Mike, Mike's, a, Mike's a great guy. Mike Harkness, just in case you're wondering. He, uh, you won't even notice that he's there. I'm, I'm sure you won't even see him. I'd prefer to keep it that way. Yeah. I'm you sure said you'd Harkness? prefer it to Harkness. I'm pretty sure that Mike, uh, would prefer that as well. Uh, he'll Can I get, hear Mike? He gets here in about a, an hour. So, you, okay, so you know, for once he does, he'll he'll find you. All right, and he's just going to be shadowing me to make sure I'm capable of being security. Sort of showing you around, <laughs> make sure you've got a good mental map. I understand that's important for people with your disability, um, and uh, just make sure that you can handle doing what you need to do in a crowded area. I'm no problem. I'm a little uh, on the fence well, about your capabilities. Well, if it makes you feel better, I always drink on the job. Does not make me feel better. It should. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need to limit that drinking um, to only like... Now, I was told that you usually do two or three pints an hour. Um, we're going to limit that to a pint every two. And um, 
What is your concern for safety of people here? They would need to be safe. They need to feel like they're safe. So three pints it is. A pint every two hours. Don't worry, Michael. Uh, keep it to that. I'm sure he'll try. <laughs> now get on out of here before uh, before I say that you're not going to be able to, to work at this. You walked up to me. <laughs> That's true. Go. I'm going to be interviewing more people. Get out of here. This is my tent. <laughs> no. <laughs> Your tent is the next one. I'm telling you, one pint an hour. One pint to two hours. Damn it. Is my tent actually the next one over? Yeah, it is. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was wondering why it smelled like shite. <laughs> so you go walking out in the bright Georgia sun. The bright Georgia sun? The, Close uh, my eyes and look at it. <laughs> the uh, crowds are just starting. It is the first official day, but it's more of a setup day. The, the official day doesn't start until the weekend. It is Thursday. So you do have a couple days to get familiar. You'll have some small crowds, mostly private tours and things like that coming through. Small groups. Okay. I'll take my time just to get a map of the place and what it's supposed to look like. Okay. We're going to cut over to another group of people. Quasi. Yes. So your character's name is Barnabas. Barnabas Lee. Barnabas Lee. So, Mr. Lee. Yes. We do appreciate you uh, coming. Well, to I Atlanta appreciate to help the uh, us. I appreciate the invitation. Thank you very much. You know, we we were looking yes. forward to it. You know, our our congregation, though small, not as big as some of them televised ones. At least. We, uh, well, we're well, looking forward know, to this revival. God is everywhere. That's what we say. Oh, Rand, you're preaching to the choir, as they would say. Mm -hmm. So, um, how do you want uh, to do this? Like, uh, uh, do you oh, want me to? It's all yours. Just okay. right here, this uh, this area here, this whole parking lot out in front of my superstore is all for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We, we've roped it off. We've set it. All you have to do is bring in your tents and, and get it going. And you know, I understand you're going to be here a week. Is that right? I am. Right on. I'm. I'm looking forward to this. We've got a lot of people coming out here, and and of course, all my all my employees will be more than happy to to listen in. Well, you know, faith is like a mustard seed. Like. No matter how small it is, it can move mountains. So, you know, this venue, small though it is, might be just a fault of faith. And uh, I look forward to, to, to tapping this, this well and, and providing the, uh, the drink of life for everybody that chooses to partake. This is great. It's, it's it's my pleasure meeting you again. My name is uh, my name is Marcus Waller. Now, do you need people come out to help out, set you up, or? No, I got my crew. Thank okay. you very much. Okay, well, I'll leave you guys to it. Um, your semi driver he pulled over back over there somewhere, and uh, your your bus driver obviously you know where he is. So right. You guys are more than welcome. If you get too hot to come on in, we got we'll have some soft drinks for you in our break room. All right. Well, thank you very much. You've been very kind. I look forward to, to to helping you help us. Amen. He turns and walks off. So what do you do? Well, hey, uh, set up shop. I mean, it's it's time for 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 good old fashioned revival. Okay. Um, I believe <laughs> your character is involved in his. Oh. Most setting certain. up shop. No, sir. So uh, <laughs> go ahead and, and interact. Take a few moments. You're so fucked. <laughs> I'm just leaning up against my semi truck. Hey, we're in business. All right. Where do you want me to set up? We got this entire parking lot. 
So, so where, where do you um, want me to set up? It's bigger than our footprint. Let's uh, let's take the northeast corner. It's uh, uh, it's going to allow some people to park in front of the business, which is important, and more important, in front of us. All right. So. Let's uh, see. Am I going to be getting any help from a crew over there, or is it just going to be? You know what? They volunteered uh, like uh, some people. Grab who you need. Um, don't grab any scrawny people. We don't want any scrawny people. It's a liability. Well, I mean, you've you've said this before, boss. I'm I'm, I'm a little bit of a liability myself, right? I mean, what what if I get into some sort of a, if you some sort ever of a, ever go through an injury, you know I can take care of it. I mean, true, faith true. is faith. Faith is faith. Right, right. Faith is faith. I always forget about that. I apologize. Anyways, yeah. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and uh, round up some uh, some people to join us. All right. Um, uh, store guy says there are soft drinks in the store for us. Don't abuse it, but don't ignore it. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, Language. Sorry. Language. Sorry. Thank you. Stop. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's see you go round up the people and yeah. start Well, first I go for them. soft drinks. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. And start directing them on, on where to set up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Character, mm -hmm. um, California, okay. Yosemite National Park. Okay. Looking for your contact. Need you to make a roll. We'll show it uh, during break. Nine. Can't. Yeah. So you're in Yosemite National Park. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for your contact. You do notice that there's a, a lot of humans. A lot. Of Ooh. humans. Got his cloak on. Um, in the park. Um, doing, as far as you can tell, touristy things. Stupid crap that make very little sense. They're walking around with these things. Some of them are talking into them. They're like these little rectangular boxes. Some <coughs> of them are, are using them and, and like holding them in front of them. Others are swiping things on them. Just keep them to the edge of the forest. Try not to be seen. Okay. Um, roll a stealth check for me. Preferably better than the last one you rolled. <laughs> Twelve. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Um, so you uh, you've been keeping an eye on the people and been staying away from them, which is proving to be harder than you imagined. Um, but you've done a pretty good job. You believe that that no one's seen you. Um, about three hours after you've been there. Starting to get a little hungry, and uh, you see some roasted something on a stick just sort of go right in front of your face. In here, so you want some of this? Kind of looks. There is a, another felonoid, a panther, or a sorry, not a panther. My bad. Rewind. A mountain lion felonoid sitting there. He's chewing on some sort of roasted animal on a stick that you can't recognize, and he's handing you the other one. Takes it, sniffs it. So, you've been here about three hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to work on your tracking skills. Just a lot. I've been following you for three hours. I saw you. <laughs> no, you didn't. It's okay. It's all right. So is this going to be a problem? No. No, no, I've heard of what you did. I know why you're here. And I'm, I'm trying to decide if it's because you've got cojones or you're just that stupid. A little bit of both. 
to attack the guy in charge. He wasn't, Tell me about it. He wasn't where he's supposed to be. It's a given. He's Marcel. He's sort of like King. He's never where he's supposed to be. He was in an active range where he should have been. I saw movement. I fired. It's up to me to put you through your paces. Make sure that you're being taken care of. That you're not going to be a risk to our people. Now, unlike Haven, unlike the Dark Woods, there are more people here than anything. This is just a small sliver of the population you're going to have to deal with. Great. Now, I also understand that you can't just... And it goes like this, and you see his fur recede, and he looks completely human. You can't do this. No. Comes back up. Uh, it's going to be a problem for you. How are you going to cope? He reaches back slowly to make sure nothing happens and pulls out the other set of clothing. Get changed. Your first task is going to be looking into a rumor for me. Okay. Going to send you to Georgia. Georgia? It's another state. You're going to be taking a very long bus ride. You're going to be on one of those small things, and he points out a tour bus, crammed full of people. What? Do I have a horse? Yeah, no horses. At all? I mean, there are horses here, but you can't use one for this. I need you to uh, look into a rumor, as I mentioned. So as you know, Marcel befriends people and things. What did he befriend this and time? You may have heard rumors that he spawned a whole race of felonoids on a planet. One of the original inhabitants may have had an offspring and may be somewhere in Georgia. If it's true, you need to keep them safe. If it's not, and what does this just let me know? Offspring look or smell like? That is a great question. We've heard rumors that there was a lady, a Bernadian, that had taken residence Bernadian? somewhere. So that's the race. You'll know them by the red streaks in their hair, in their front locks. <laughs> A fifth of the population of the planet. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, usually they have blonde hair and then have the red streaks. I mean, completely noticeable. Do they want to speak to the manager? <laughs> Is her name Karen by chance? So, <laughs> my understanding it was a female. She had a kid. That's about all I know. Male, female kid? There was a female. She had a kid. That's about all I know. Now, there, another part of the rumor is, the, is that she could have mated with a drow. I thought they were hunted to extinction. <laughs> in Senecus, they're in hiding. In other realms, they're elsewhere. Not so much. So, welcome to Earth. It's 
the planet. You're in California. Here's your ticket. <laughs> There's your bus. And he melts back into the forest. <laughs> so that happened like a week before what we were doing, yes, right? Yes, notice yes. notice how he didn't tell you how long the trip is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> no, I personally know how long the trip is. I've done it before. <laughs> it sucked. <laughs> okay. By the way, I just want to point out real quick. We didn't stop. We didn't say my character's name, so when we get back to it, we can have to. I mean, yeah, yeah, it'd probably be a good thing to bring up. Um, Eventually. Also, didn't say his character's name either. True. Just pointing it out. Um, Christine. I'm all scared now. <laughs> 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 okay, I need you to roll a perception roll. Now, unlike everyone else, I'm not going to start you off nice and simple. I'm sorry. That's good. We, we've had a little bit of talk about your character. So, mm -hmm. I need you to roll a perception roll. Is that 2d10? 2d10, add them together. Tell me what you roll. 12. Okay, 12. That's a, that's a pretty good roll. Okay, so um, you are going down an alleyway. Now you know that you're being followed. Um, you believe it's the same person that followed you for the last three days. Shit. How would I have allowed that? Um, you haven't been able to shake them. You've, you've been able to shake them at night, like... You know they haven't followed you home, but every time you go out and you start looking for the signs of the people that you're looking for, you just get a sense like someone's behind you, someone's following you. And mm -hmm. it's been happening for three days now. Um, this time, it's, it's lucky enough that, uh, that there was a few alleyways um, that are deserted, but that's not necessarily always the luckiest thing either. But I'm not exactly defenseless. True. Even though I'm tiny. So you do know that they're there as you're darting down an alleyway. They're close by, probably about 20 to 40 feet behind you. What do you do? I want to find a way to trap them. Okay. Make them think that I'm gone, hide behind something, and then... I do have stealth. Escape. Okay. And um, I can see at night. Make a stealth roll. It is late evening. 16. So the sun, the sun is starting to, to uh, set. Okay, so you are able to find a, a place where you can hide. Um, it's like a couple stories up. There's a broken window. You can, you can get in there. Um, after getting secure, hidden, I do need you to make another perception roll real quick to see if you can make out the, the person. Seven. Oh, no. Um, well, you can see at the distance, you do see somebody. It's a man, about 5'8 ish, um, with ebony black hair. Walk into the, the alley, looks around. It's like, not walk, it's more like he darts into the alley, looks around, realizes that you're not there. Pulls a Corinthian communicator out of his pocket. Mm -hmm. Lost her again. Try again tomorrow. He turns and walks out. He's wearing a really nice suit. <laughs> really expensive suit. But that's about all that you can make out. Uh, Caucasian. <laughs> Sorry, we had to take a pause for Trevor to, to take a drink because that's that's impressive. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So you've been in Atlanta, by the way, looking for signs of the Corinthian. <sighs> Atlanta, Georgia? Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Um, the signs that you've uh, found have led you here. Um, Don't exactly worry, for those of you at home, it's just vodka. You're not exactly sure um, where in Atlanta. It's just the... It's just where you basically just determine that they're going to be. Um, there is a carnival that has some unusual attractions. 
in Atlanta. Um, you know, the, the freak show, if you will, is, is a new thing that is starting back up. It's not new, new. It's, it's come and gone in, in carnivals before, but it's, uh, this one is interesting, to say the least. And you're hoping to find a little bit more information. And hoping to find the carnival itself. Yes. So you knew that the carnival was coming to the city or the outskirts of the city. Atlanta's a big place, so there's lots of searching to do. Okay. What time is it? 8.57. Oh, perfect. We didn't get started until a little later, so we'll take a break in a little bit. Uh, we're going to jump back to Rafa. Yeah. You get to the carnival. All right. Uh, just browsing around, checking out what, what games they have, and suppose I'm a little curious about some of the tents that I that, that are around. Roll perception roll real quick. Uh, 92? Uh, so 9 plus 2. Oh, 11? <laughs> it's alright. It's, right. it's, it's a good refresher. So 11. Um, so yeah, so you see all sorts of flyers. There's a, supposedly a blind fighter. Mm -hmm. You know, they've got they've got a freak show this year, um, mm -hmm. and they're calling it a freak show. I know it's not politically correct, but mm -hmm. that's the the term they're using. Um, one of them is a, is a blind fighter from Ireland. Um, another one is a man that can bend a steel bar. Um, you have the glass eater, the fire blower. You know, bearded lady. Um, You're and, there, and uh, and of course. I think it's the other way around. Fire eating and glass blowing. No, 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 no. I had it right. I had it right. The fire blowing and glass eating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the kind bearded of lady. <laughs> and, and, and there's a bearded lady, and uh, and there is a uh, a new attraction um, for just complete and utter freaks of nature. Um, it's it's got like all sorts of like weird. Mysterious looking shapes. There's at least three people. Um, that's that's They're all you conjoined. can tell. Okay. Um, and then there's the rest of the fair. There's like, you know, the rides and the carny games and yeah, and all the rest of the fun of the state carnival. Okay. Well, uh, I'm can't say I'm not curious about the animal thing. Sure. So that you're going to head over to, to that area. Yeah. Okay. So I need you to roll a perception roll. And I need you to roll another perception roll. 17. Okay. Uh, 13. Okay, so you've been doing your rounds. Yep. Um, How's um. Mitch? Mike? Mike. Mike, Mike Harkness. Harkness uh, yep. He is, he's been a, a big help to you. He's been showing you around all of the great places. Watch out. Here's a little step. You have to be careful. And over here is where the people are going to come in, and he walks right into you. <laughs> You're, like, looking around. You, see, you hear this loud guy. You move so you don't fall down. Yeah. He's not so lucky. <laughs> he, like, boom. Oh. I'd like to grab oh. him by the back of his... Shirt, whatever he's wearing. Roll. Uh, double sixes. Woohoo! Uh, plus eight, so. Double sixes, double ones. 20? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you see this guy. Describe yourself real quick. Uh, I'm probably just wearing like a, uh, a blue shirt that used to be a t shirt, but the sleeves have been ripped off since then. Uh, I'm about 150 pounds, five, seven ish. Um, so I'm, I'm right there as a welterweight, um, but I don't look very intimidating by any means. I've got a uh, nice pair of sunglasses on, and uh, my hands are wrapped. Uh, my pants are kind of like a, um, well, I don't, I'm not sure what color they used to be, but right now they're kind of like a beige with little spots of brown. Probably and and the guy that he, some kind. the guy that ran into you. Is yeah. about five six, mm -hmm. um, very loud, very scrawny yeah. guy, um, wearing like t shirt and jeans, and you know his hats on backwards, and like bumps into you, and he just grabs him by the t shirt slash back of his neck, <laughs> and just whoom, and stops him. He's like, "Whoa, 
How did you see me? That's amazing. Well, hey, he's blind. Then why are you yelling? <laughs> because he's blind. He doesn't look blind to me. He is. Are you blind? We're all blind here. He's our blind fighter guy. How does that work? The same way I just caught him. And you're blind. Yeah. I'm not stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it really sounds like you should be walking him around. I yeah, am. sorry about that. Sorry about that, sir. Where were you heading? Oh, no, no. He's making sure I'm capable of doing my job. I mean, he's blind. You have to let them know where they're at. He could still fucking hear you. <laughs> yeah, I'm making sure of it. <laughs> you should whisper a little quieter. Maybe then I won't. Okay, I'll try to be a little quieter for you. How's this? Perfect. Okay, good. So where wow. are you heading? Uh, you Start know, another drink. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I came to have some fun, and uh, you, uh, I guess I'm heading over here towards the animal thing. Oh, yeah. I was, I was just going to show him over to where he's going to be fighting. Hey, over here. Let's go. Oh, wait, sorry. And he takes your hand. This way. <laughs> Call you. <laughs> I'd recommend looking at the uh, fraternal uh, conjoined triplets. Okay. Roxy, Moxie, and Dot. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name's Earl. Mojo. My Mojo. Dot. 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 <laughs> so he, he leads you to back to the to the area that you were. Heading with no problem. Yeah. He takes a little bit more of a roundabout way and he explains the whole time. This is a little bit faster. There's less people. I'm sorry. This is a little faster. There's less people. Because he talks <laughs> lower. It doesn't mean we're going to get it more. He's blind. Yes. I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and open up a book. <laughs> <laughs> And you're blind. Yeah. Is that Braille? No. It's, um... War and Peace? I like that author. War and Peace? <laughs> okay. Well, anyway... And so you guys you guys head over to the to the tent. Um, there's there's quite a few attractions. Um, mm -hmm. Looks like most of the acts are getting ready. They're, yeah. they're not quite open. Am I allowed back here? I just kind of More than he is. I just started following you guys. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm here to show him around. I don't know. Uh, I, hey, I like behind the scenes stuff. Are you gonna cool. steal anything? Do I look like I would steal anything? I yes. don't know. You tell me. I'm in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely yes. He says that. I'm in a suit. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> the question is, are you in a suit? <laughs> I mean, I'm yeah, an yeah. accountant, so I probably, yeah, I probably yeah, will. <laughs> He's going to cite your attractions. <laughs> is it a nice suit? I'm mean, JC Penny? He might steal something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Are you from here? There's something familiar about you. Well, I'm from, uh... Well, I'm from Baltimore. Well, that's not from here, but, you know. I thought you were from Ireland! Same thing. What was your name again? Uh, I'm, I'm Bill, by the way. I'm um, Jack. Okay. Jack Walker. Jack Walker. Mike! Nice meet you. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get you another Ouch. beer. Please. And he turns and You owe me for out. me having to save your ass. Right, right. Sorry about that. Walks away. <laughs> wow. And you're blind. <laughs> I feel like you're getting hung up on this. <laughs> <laughs> am, am I supposed to describe what what's in front of you, like these things here? Because well, I don't... this would be my tent. There's a nice uh, couple poles.